good morning welcome to engineering physics class today i'm going to explain about the second crystal growth model that is chakaski model the previous one is brigman technique now this is chakaski method that another scientist who introduce a type of crystal growth that is a that is chakaski technique the principle behind this the principle behind this particular method is crystal pulling technique sir crystal pulling technique so how is going to be grow during the experiment i will explain later so pulling technique just remember in which crystal are grown by gradual layer by layer so this is also a slow process layer by layer crystal growth is going to be taken place uh, layer by layer condensation of melt indicated by seed crystal in order to get the crystal in a large size initially we need to initiate that crystal growth by using a seed crystal that is a very important one just you remember seed crystal is needed then the other molten state material is going to be come together to the seed crystal and the size is gradually increases at last our expected size crystal growth is going to be taken place that is the principle so what about the principle that is a crystal pulling technique where the crystals are grown by gradual layer by layer uh, condensation of melt indicated by a seed crystal then about the construction so the construction is now here in the heading of description the apparatus consist of once again the same way the previous method also we use crucible here also one crucible is there some but the crucible is somewhat larger size comparing the previous previous one is the cylindrical one okay cylindrical and whose lower portion is tapered now here the crucible size is somewhat uh, big one comparing the previous the crucible heater seed crystal and also crystal holder these are the parts these are the important parts needed here in this particular technique then the crucible is made of graphite you just remember recall it the previous technique the crucible is made up of platinum here the crucible vessel that is made up of graphite so you just differentiate these two then it is easy to remember that's graphite it is provided with the heating element to heat the material some heating element is also there which is surrounded this in order to heat the material which is available in a crucible okay so that material is going to be melt with the help of the suitable head it is also consist of shaft shaft means the common axis okay for rotating and pulling the grow so one shaft is there this is a shaft so this shaft is used to pull that uh, uh seed crystal from the molten state uh, uh, that means material when we are pulling out when you are pulling out slowly this happen slowly when the pulling is happen slowly then the molten state uh, material is going to be uh, is going to be grown over the seed crystal okay so this is actual technique slowly the shaft is going to be rotated and the same time is pulling okay so the gradual layer by layer growth is going to be taken place over the seed crystal here we have one seed crystal so when the seed crystal is pulling slowly uh, around this seed crystal the molten state uh, material is going to be uh, deposited so the crystal is going to be grown in a gradual manner that is layer by layer the raw material is taken in the crucible and is melted so here raw material means the material which is uh, going to be in the molten molten state so is going to be taken and whose crystal uh, is going to be grown 
that is a raw material. So, raw material is going to be taken inside the crucible. Okay. A small seed crystal is attached to the pulling rod here. This is a this is pulling rod already explained this uh, lower end of pulling rod one seed crystal is there. Okay. The seed touches the melt, malt that means molten state uh, material. So, the seed when the seed touches the melt and get slightly melted now the temperature is reduces below melting point. So, for the temperature is extremely high so that the material available inside the crucible is in the molten state. Uh, when this seed is going to be in contact with the molten state or melt then gradually the temperature is also going to be reduces that uh, with the help of ourselves, that with the help of the user. The temperature is when the temperature is reduces below melting point uh, that atom get detached and is going to be attracted towards the seed crystal. The rod is now rotated. Now the rod is slowly rotated so that the sap is going to be move up along with the seed crystal. When the seed crystal is uh, get move up then automatically the molten state uh, material is going to be deposited over this or come and uh, attached with the particular seed crystal. So, over the seed crystal uh, this particular material is going to be grow continuously. The rod is now rotated about its axis and then drawn upward. When the crystal has reached its desired length, so we expect some length, some size, some shape of the crystal. So, if we need a large size or large say, uh, dimension uh, crystal means wait for some more time to get it. If we need a small size or even very small size crystal structure, uh, crystal enough means immediately you will get it when the slow process of pulling is happen. Okay, when the crystal has reached its desired length, temperature is lowered at room temperature. So, almost the temperature is also come to room temperature so that those molten state material is come close to that seed material is going to be in the solid form and get into the desired length and structure. Okay. The crystal is raised quickly and withdrawn from the growth apparatus. So, finally, the crystal is taken out. So, this is a place, the in cot, in cot where the crystal growth is there. This is the crystal growth. So, so when this, when you so just see here, this seed is slowly pulling upward direction. This molten state material is going to be in contact with this particular seed material. So, it's continuously pulling upward means uh, this happen continuously. That means uh, the molten state material is come and attached with this seed uh, crystal so that the size is gradually increases. At the same time, temperature is lower, no? So, the molten state material is come close to this seed, may, seed is going to be uh, solid form. So, uh, at last uh, are able to get the desired length structure, crystal structure. So, this is a method of growing crystal structure in the form of a solid with the help of the Tchaikovsky method. Then some advantages and disadvantages are there in this type of apparatus. This can produce a single crystal, this is a another one method. So, the previous one also, Bridgman technique also are able to get the single crystal. So, the same way are possible to produce a single crystal of large diameter. So, large diameter uh, crystal formation is possible with the help of this one. Growth rate is high. The previous one growth rate is extremely slow process because the Bridgman technique where the uh, crucible movement is 1 millimeter per hour. But uh, here it is not so slow process. Okay. So, growth rate is uh, high comparing the Bridgman technique clear view of growth procedure is possible. So, we are, we are able to see how the growth is going to be taken place with our naked eye. So, that is a clear view is possible. You see here, this is a apparatus. When you are look out this apparatus from, from outside, we are able to see the growth formation 
with our naked eye that is then dopant distribution will be uniform that is also advantage some disadvantages are there temperature maintenance is different so is difficult so here the temperature maintenance once again the same difficulties are there in the bridgman technique also the same is the disadvantage in this category also crystal defect is also there so already i told what is crystal defect imperfection of crystal why the imperfection is taken place the imperfection is taken place due to the lack of growth technique or the seed and also the molten state material that to contact during that time some uh, air bubble may produces due to the air bubble the particular place is vacant so that is a imperfection or defect such a defect possibilities defect production is high percentage of defect production is high in this type that is a disadvantage then difficult to maintain chemical homogeneity so homogeneity we you know that that means the same uniform material so it is difficult to maintain a pure form of crystal so some possibilities are there in the foreign atom so there is a uh, difficult difficult to maintain chemical homogeneity so these are the disadvantages so some di advantages are there some disadvantages are there in this so in this video i explain the crystal growth technique the second technique that given in our syllabus the first one is bridgman now the second one is chakoski method this method uh, actually uh, that mean crystal pulling technique crystal pulling technique the previous one is molten state only but uh, that is selective cooling technique so the technique is different so the and explain up, uh, about the apparatus you see here apparatus somewhat big size uh, crucible is there comparing the previous one and the raw material is taken that is going to be in the molten state by heat this is heating coil and then is going to be enter the seed material seed crystal into this and when it pulling automatically the molten state material is going to be come close to the seed crystal and the growth is going to be happen by slow pulling technique method so okay then i by this i conclude this video we'll meet in the next video